everybody doing today? I'm your host, Rich, and we have a Rich TV Live with our very special guest. It's Jay Park, who is the CEO of Catalex. How are you doing today, Jay? I'm awesome. How about you? I'm doing fantastic. Thank you for joining us. Can you tell us a little bit about yourself and how you got involved with Catalex and why you decided to partner with Lightlink? Well, I'm one of uh, three co-founders of Catalex, and um, basically three um, friends that uh, three years ago saw saw Bitcoin just explode, and and before that, uh, I've heard of it uh, mostly um, through friends that say their their computer got hacked and uh, and uh, it's been taken hostage, and the guys. Uh, want a couple of Bitcoin and and uh, they'll they'll release the the asset or whatever. Hackers, so, yeah, hackers and stuff like that. So I'm wow. like, that sounds really shady. Um, and then <laughs> and then um, basically three years ago when we saw the big run of of um, of uh, Bitcoin, a lot of people made money. It made the news and it piqued my interest for sure. And um, started with a small mining operation that we set up at, at my friend's farm. Oh, so wow. basically farm because there's really cheap electricity and uh, we ran um, a power and uh, uh, internet to a, um, what do you call it? A can, a uh, shipping can, and we set it up and basically plugged in and we, we saw that we, we started to um, mine Ethereum and Bitcoin and it was actually working. So after that, we're like, what do we actually do? Um, there's nothing to do in a mining operation, but ex- like wait. And um, so um, we looked around and there was an opportunity to open up an exchange because um, my heritage is Korean and we had some ties and some news with um, some Korean exchanges just exploding. So wow. we're like, so our, our three partners or our founders said, let's, let's try to build this thing. So that's kind of where it started. And three years later, um, uh, we're in this position today. That's great. Now, what are the main focuses of Lightlink and Catalex for the first half of 2021? And what sets you apart from your competition? Well, I have to start um, to answer this question by Catalex is uh, currently, uh, in in my eyes, in my view, the, the best cryptocurrency or digital asset um, trading platform that nobody knows about. Um, so one of the things that um, we needed for sure was a uh, marketing strategy and also a lot of people getting to know our platform and brand. And so that's why we work so well with Lightlink. Um, they have a great uh, network and they, they complement our skill sets. And so um, when they made us the offer to uh, purchase a minority stake in our uh, private company, in our platform, um, we saw that there was great synergies because we're great builders and we're great operators. And Lightlink could get the, us the eyeballs. They could get us the exposure. So we're really excited to bring our offering to many people in 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 the uh, Canadian market. That's great. The blockchain space and the crypto markets have really been picking up Bitcoin all time highs and so many other cryptocurrencies are following suit. Right. How is Lightlink and Catalyx positioning itself to become a leader in a space that is just exploding with so much competition? Uh, Great question. Um, I'd say uh, what differentiates uh, Lightlink and Catalyx is first our liquidity, meaning there needs to be orders um, being processed uh, through the platform at a very, very high rate, uh, a market being made. So currently there is no Canadian native uh, market for Bitcoin or any cryptocurrencies. It's all based um, out of either the US or, or Asian um, um, markets. C- Canada is just too small. Uh, Catalyx, if you have experienced our platform, is the closest thing to a native, a native Canadian cryptocurrency market, meaning liquidity and 
depth of order book. So what a lot of exchanges are doing is they're, they're opening up a corporate account uh, on say a US uh, exchange or a Chinese exchange or, or one of the big exchanges and they're executing, they're executing their whole order book through a couple of corporate accounts. That does not mean that you have the liquidity and you have the order book of that exchange. It just means you're, you're buying it at a wholesale rate. Um, what we represent is if you've actually followed our order book is, is the, the highest liquidity in Canada and also the depth. And what that means is um, if you try to execute a, a full Bitcoin, one BTC uh, sell on any platform in Canada, a lot, of the, a lot of the orders will not be filled. Why? These exchanges have a spread, which is um, a lot of the market about two or $300 spread, but their actual spread on their order book is about $1,000. So if you're off on, a, when you're trying to sell a, a, a BTC or Bitcoin, $1,000 over market, it will not be filled. Yeah, no one's going to no one's going to buy it, right? Um, if you actually try to purchase or if you try to sell on Catalyst's uh, uh, platform today, it will be filled instantly at market price. Wow. So we have the, the tightest spreads in Canada. Wow. Not just, not just um, what do you call it? Not just advertised spread because everyone says, look at our spreads, it's only $200. But if you look at their order book between their sell and their buy, that spread is about anywhere as low as six, $700, as high as $1,500. So when you're that far apart on your orders and they're tying in directly to the US, no one's gonna buy their um, marked up BTC. And so what you see is small amounts of Bitcoin like 0 0.1, 0 0.2 Bitcoin being filled, but anything about 0 0.4 Bitcoin, it's just, it's just stagnant on people's uh, uh, platforms. So that's what we represent. Um, like I said, I, I truly believe, I've seen the marketplace, I've seen the competition. Um, there, there is no competition. Um, if you, for serious cryptocurrency owners and traders, there is no competition. That leads me to my next question. So based on the press release, and you just yes. mentioned it, Catalyx has the tightest spreads and lowest prices in Canada for Bitcoin and other coins. How do you do that? Like, can you explain how you're doing that? Well, a lot of it is uh, with our partnerships um, and, and access to technology that is not just a wholesale account. So I'm not just Catalyx does not just have a corporate account at uh, finance or who will be or a, another big uh, exchange. We are actually representing uh, these, these big um, liquidity providers order books. So that's how we can, and, and we're, we're, we, we're taking on all the FX risk and we're, we're, we are actually offering a CAD pairing um, uh, BTC or Ethereum or any of the other altcoins we, we offer on our platform. Um, oh, wow. So that is, that is the biggest difference. So um, uh, we, we do it with technology integration with, uh, with our partners. And uh, we have that relationship. And we've been building that relationship and secured that relationship over the last two and a half years. Now, there's a lot of hacking. We talked about a little bit and theft that happens in the crypto space. One of the things that Catalyx also has is that you protect investors from hacking. Can you go through some of the security features you have in place at Catalyx that is protecting investors from hacking and theft in the, in the crypto space? Yes. Well, First thing, it starts with our, uh, with our uh, partners, with their wallet technology, and also uh, the technology that is uh, protecting their cyber entity. And, and then it, it goes to us. So basically, if we're the portal and the gateway, uh, we need to uh, basically be secure as well. Um, so those, those two pieces combined uh, and knowing 
full transparency what we have in place um, is is our is our rest assured um, um, for for me I have to sleep at night being being the head of the company and the founder of the company that uh, not only the company's assets but you know uh, thousands of people. Uh, um, deposits and, and assets are secure. So we, we take, uh, um, we, we are on the cutting edge of, of security. Um, does that mean that it's, it's, it's hack proof? No, um, no, no entity in, in the world, I think can, can make that claim. But are we doing absolutely everything possible? Yes. Are we using the best methods and best tech to be able to do it? Yes. Are we reviewing it? reviewing these policies on a regular interval? Yes. So um, that system and that constant review and that constant um, looking for the next best thing, um, because hackers are, are, are working 24 hours a day. They're looking for an end. And so we have to be as vigilant uh, in, in, in finding uh, solutions to be able to uh, protect against these threats. Can you tell us a little bit about fastbitcash.ca and go through some of the features for us? Well, fastbitcash is, um, I guess, my um, answer to, or or Catalyst's answer to the Canadian market. So I looked at a few reports at, uh, uh, late last year in 2020, saying um, five six percent of Canadians own Bitcoin or digital assets. So. And that, that number set, it seems very, very small to me. And I said, you know, we have this great world-class trading platform and it's great for about 3% of the, the population, the people that are really knowledgeable, that have the experience in markets and tradings and options and, and a, a, whole, a whole world that the general public does not. And so I said, what does, what does the average Canadian, because we, we have 6% of Canadians owning digital assets. I mean, for me, that number year after year is just going to grow uh, exponentially. So I said, why is it so hard for somebody to buy their first Bitcoin? And so I, I, I looked at um, a lot of the problems um, and, uh, because if you're entering to the platform first, you don't know the, the company or the, or, the, or, the, or the exchange. Second, it, it needs full KYC. It needs all these um, things that you need like Google Authenticator and maybe it sends an SMS uh, uh, security code to your. So a lot of the general population does not, is not used to that level of, I guess, hands-on, um, let me figure out the tech part just to own a Bitcoin. So what we've done is removed all the big obstacles made the user uh, interface and experience very, very friendly and very familiar and said, I challenge, I challenged our team and our, our, our uh, engineers say, I wanna see if we can technically have from a sign up to funding, to purchasing the first Bitcoin, do it in 60 seconds. So wow. that, that was our challenge uh, to our team and we've actually been able to do it. Mind you, you have to type really, really fast. Uh, maybe, maybe the average person does it in 90 seconds or, or, uh, or 120, uh, 120 seconds. Right? But, but the, I guess the, the, the end goal is when you want to own your first Bitcoin, it's just probably only like maybe 100, 200, $500 worth. We wanted to make that first transaction super easy. So you can, um, so you can not necessarily touch it and feel it, but it's in your account. You can see how it's moving. You start to develop a emotional connection with the asset and uh, you get curious. And so what's it? So Fastbit Cash is actually powered by Catalyx. So when you sign up for Fastbit Cash, your, your login information will automatically be able to log into Catalyx. So if you want to get serious and, and trade it for Ethereum, or cash out or sell it or buy it again, um, you're able to do it. So I love it. This sounds great. This sounds like a platform that myself and our community can really wrap our heads around. And I agree with you. The only exchange I've used in Canada that has allowed me to actually sell Bitcoin and transfer into my bank account is NDAX. 
You're yeah. familiar with NDAX? Yeah. Yeah. I've been using them for years, but even with them, it's not that easy to buy anything. So to have a platform where you could just go buy Bitcoin, do transactions and be pairing with Canadian dollars, I think that's brilliant. And it's needed. It's needed. As someone who's been in blockchain and cryptocurrencies since 2017, it's needed. And that's the reason why Canadians only 6% own it is because there's never been an easy passage to own it. Like in America, they have Coinbase and anybody can go open up a Coinbase account and then you can, it it attaches to your bank account. You can sell and then transfer the funds into your bank account. As a Canadian, we don't have that option. So I had to search for Endax as the only broker in Canada that gave me that option where if I received Bitcoin, I could sell it and then I could transfer the funds to TD. So I think what you're doing is actually very brilliant. And it's, it's not a, it's not necessarily a want. I believe it's a need. So I think it's really great what you guys are doing. If there was one thing that you would want shareholders to know about Catalyx and your relationship with Lightlink and what you guys are doing today, what would it be? Well, I'll, we're, we are doing some very, very exciting things. Um, Fastbit Cash is, is right. It's, uh, I got a notice yesterday that, uh, um, from my um, engineers. They said tomorrow. So today is uh, February 9th. So February 10th is the day that we launch. Wow. Uh, cash. We're That's not, exciting. we're going to be definitely doing a soft launch uh, because we w- really want to uh, wait for the right time to do the, the press release. I think it, you know, three, three to four weeks later. Uh, but um, we're, we're excited about that. I wish I could tell you everything that we have lined up in the, in, in, in the pipeline. Uh, some of the deals I, I'm not able to disclose at this moment. Um, there are some sensitive matters because, uh, 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 um, but I would say that for Catalyx and for Lightlink, you know, look out for, for news because we're, um, we're the best platform that nobody knows about, but we're, we're about to change that. I like it. I love what I'm hearing. What is the best way for shareholders to get in touch with the company? Um, we have a chat box bot that links to a real person um, that is a Canadian. And uh, we, we answer um, um, within a, a period of time. Also, uh, Facebook. Uh, if, you, if you like us on Facebook and send us a message, um, we, respond that, we respond to that regularly. Also, we have email. And it's listed right on the, the, the website that uh, we respond in, and monitor regularly as well. Okay, great. Well, thank you so much for your time today, Jay Park, the CEO of Catalex, a company that is working very closely with Lightlink. Lightlink exploded today, had a monster day. And I believe with all of the different catalysts that are coming that you're talking about and all the excitement in blockchain, that this may just be the beginning for Lightlink and Catalex. Now, guys, remember Rich TV Live is strictly for education and entertainment purposes. Always do your due diligence, always do your research before you invest in anything that we talk about here on Rich TV Live. Always invest in the best. The best is blessed. And remember, if you're not winning, you're not watching, we bring you the winners and we bring them to you first. If you like the video, please smash the like button, comment down below, share the video everywhere and subscribe. Thank you so much for your time today. Jay, for joining us, the CEO of Catalex. Hope you have a great day, Jay. You too. Thank you for joining us. And for those of you guys that are watching all over the world, Put light link on your watch list, put it on your radar. I'll have in the description, the symbols for the Canadian, the US and the Frankfurt listing. Thank you guys for watching. I'm here with the CEO of Catalyx, Jay Park saying, have a nice day.